I just saw something. Is it real? Look like a refractor. No way. In today's video, I will be unboxing this box of sports cards from Facebook Marketplace. It should have this Kobe Bryant Topps Finest Airs refractor in it. It isn't graded, it is a raw card. According to the seller, it should be in there. Here's my message to the seller. I specifically asked about the Kobe that was in one of the photos in the listing. That being said, I just wanted to clear things up before I actually purchased it made sure that there wasn't any funny business going on. And here you can see, here's a statement back to it. And he just says that there's a small indention, not noticeable. Here's the moment of truth. Hopefully I didn't get scammed on this Facebook marketplace deal. Time to break open this collection of sports cards. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so I haven't looked through here at all. I literally just cracked the, the box with you all. Um, so let's do some digging. Hopefully we can find that Kobe. Hopefully also we can find some other good cards that we can sell. I do resell cards. And so if you see anything, please comment below. Maybe we can work out a pretty good deal for you. So we got Charles Woodson. It's pretty cool little draft picks. Silver, Tatum Bell. He was one of those guys I thought was going to turn out, but he really... I mean, I don't know if it was injuries or what, but he definitely had his career ended a lot shorter than I expected. Jared Golf Silver, Jordy Nelson, it's numbered to 499. Here's just a bunch of tops finest, I believe 1997. Big Boggs, Darren Erstad, I believe that's a rookie. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, AJ Brown. He's a monster. He is a beast. Doris Clayton. Paul Wilson. All right. Scorecard. Sam Bradford. Numbered to 99. Oh, that's a cool Tino Martinez. Is that one? Huh. Matrix. Oh, no. That's pretty sweet. Good. A lot of numbered cards so far. I don't know, comment below if you've ever bought anything like this on Facebook Marketplace. Let me know if you've had any success. This is really my, this is actually my second time ever buying anything on Facebook Marketplace. The other time it worked out well, it was also for sports cards. The only thing I will say, anytime you're dealing with the peer-to-peer -peer sells, I feel like it's kind of a gamble. And so I did try to avoid it as much as possible. But that being said, in this case, I did think it was worth it. So my biggest concern really is with the Kobe not actually being a real, but it actually being like a facsimile or just a, a traditional um, reprint. Oh, that's sweet. Teddy Bruschi, Topps Chrome, little refractor. It's a nice little card. That may be worth something. D'Amico Ryan's rookie. Robert Griffin, rookie. He was an absolute beast in college at Baylor. Frank Gore, one of the goats. Joe Namath, Broadway Joe. That's a cool card. So far, some pretty sweet cards. I don't think anything worth too, too much money. I don't know exactly why all of these have the... I'm assuming he was selling them for a dollar. Some of these seem like he could have gotten more than a dollar for them, but in either case, that's a Joe Flacco to 60. He threw in a couple um, PSA 9s. After I got done filming, I figured I should do a giveaway on this first video, so please subscribe, like this video, and comment below which one you would like out of the two, and I will be giving away both of them to two lucky winners. Good luck. Rookies, 
these would have been worth a little bit more maybe a couple years ago, but still nice to have. I always like some graded stuff. Ooh, Jason Witten. Nice. One of the best tight ends to ever lace them up. Alex Green. Frank Gore, another rookie of his. And where we're going to see that Kobe potentially is going to be in one of these. It was in a binder, um, in a binder sheet. And this is the first time filming and um, looking through cards. So if I miss anything, please comment down below so I can <laughs> be aware of it. Um, but also, I'll look through these again just to make sure that I didn't miss anything on this first run through. Um, and, and like I said, comment below if there's any cards that you PC or you really like that you wouldn't mind having. Let me know. We can take it over to email or on Twitter or um, Instagram and we can take care of it and uh, hopefully get you a good deal. It's a Fred Taylor rookie, Black Diamond. Nice card. There. All right. Deshaun Watson Dominators. Do you think he's going to be any good this year? If I was the Haslams, I would literally just outlaw massage parlors and getting massages in the whole Cleveland area. Then they could actually be a real contender. Dick Buckus, Pink Parallel, Matt Forte, it's a nice little Phoenix. Purple Parallel, another Jason Witten to 500. Oh, that was a cool card. AJ Green, out of 99. Not a bad card there. Not sure why that was in there, but it was nevertheless. Mike Davis to 102, Leonard Fournette, Rich Gardner, Frank Martin, Ooh, Andre Williams, that's a pretty cool little parallel there to 99, D'Angelo Williams, that dude was a beast. I always try to pick him up in fantasy if I could. Antonio Cromartie. All right, so nothing too crazy yet. We we're kind of just waiting to see if this is going to have the Kobe and see if we can get a few other decent cards. Speaking of decent cards, that's a pretty sweet card. I like that. Nick Castellanos, he's a beast too. He can really play. a weird I don't know if I've ever seen the foil version of that it kind of has a weird foil look to it this hmm. Desmond Ritter the rookies will put that one off to the side that's not a bad hit I'm not going to lie, I do like doing this or uh, a variation of this, not necessarily on Facebook Marketplace, but Shop Goodwill. Um, I use Hybid quite a bit. Um, I, I use um, some some local um, apps as well. And then obviously you've got the, the garage sales and the yard sales, the flea markets to go to. But I do prefer that over buying um, just traditional um wax uh I, I really just don't think you have the value there anymore for how expensive it is i just think you can get a whole lot more for your money elsewhere also i think a big thing i have no idea on pokemon i don't know if that's good or bad let me know in the comment section below rapidash looks like it is a hollow i'm assuming huh but a lone Pokemon in here. Um, Jalen Green rookie. 
just the base. Pretty cool card. Oh, Cade Cunningham, rookie as well. Kaminga, Sharp. Um, what I was saying, though, I do prefer this over just your traditional buying wax, ripping wax. I love it as much as anyone, but the value is just not there. Um, it's really hard for me to justify it these days, um, so I typically don't. Um, did a, what year is it? Oh, okay. Pretty cool little Top's Finest, Bernie Williams. But I just feel like there's a lot of value out there with some of these different resources we have in today's world where we can um, actually buy a lot more value for our money um, than just your traditional go to the grocery store greatest of all time right there Nolan Ryan he's a beast um, go to the grocery store go to Target Walmart go to your local card shop purchase either retail or hobby and get some good hits out of it that is no longer really the case it just seems like it is fewer and further between I'm not saying that you can't hit anything good I just feel like honestly it's so much money and so risky to do that especially if you're flipping cards at all or reselling cards at all at any level it just doesn't make sense there's no real money to be had this little parallel of steph curry another one of jason tatum clay thompson little nba hoops Premium, Josh Giddy, he's a beast, Trey Young, I really thought they were going to steal one in the playoffs this year, he was balling out, cool, Randy Johnson card, I absolutely love the video of him hitting the bird, I've seen it on YouTube and on Instagram a bunch lately, I don't know exactly why, but He's been in my algorithm, and um, that was just insane what happened. Once in a lifetime, that is for sure. Oh, that's a pretty sweet little insert. Bang, Anthony Rendon. I am not going to lie. I'm getting a little nervous about... That Kobe that hopefully is down below, I don't know for sure. I am, I, I was maybe honestly a little too trusting with this one. Um, I saw it. I know I wanted it. I know there's a lot of upside there. I was willing to pay a little bit extra for, um, for this just because of that um, and kind of take a chance, especially since it was out of my immediate area so I did have to get shipping on this so I couldn't see it ahead of time but it is as much due diligence before with multiple pictures and all of that but there's only so much honestly you can do and you can only kind of hope and see Aiden Hutchinson he had a pretty good rookie season oh that's pretty sweet Dick Vermeil inducted no parallel there. Elite Series, T. Higgins. I feel like he's boom or bust literally all season. I had him in fantasy and he was kind of all over the place. That's cool highlights. Aaron Donald. About to light up Joe Burrow. Joe Cool. Nico Collins. Speaking of fantasy, I picked him up mid-season and he actually had a pretty good year this year. 
There is some decent cards in here, but for what I paid, sorry, we, we got some dogs barking outside. Um, for what I paid, I've got to, we're going to see some serious, serious uptick in what we're getting. Um, otherwise, I will not be making my money back on this particular set of cards. What I try to typically do whenever I'm buying it from others um, or buying it on Shop Good, um, Shop Goodwill, I typically try in what I can see in the, especially with a bigger um, collection like this, I try to um, make at least double my money with what I can see. So if I can make double my money on what I can see, typically I, I'm able to do pretty well on the lots. In worst case scenario, I'm really at about double my money. Obviously, you got a lot of time invested in trying to sell those cards and all of that. So that's not the goal is doubling your money, but that is something with, with what you can see whenever you have minimal pictures, minimal things to go on. That's typically what I'm doing. About halfway through this box, I'll try to clip along a little bit quicker here. Another Desmond Ritter. There's been a handful of rookies of his. Sky Moore, Jahan Dotson. Those illusions are pretty sweet. Another thing I really like about doing it this way versus maybe uh, the, the traditional um, just retail or hobby route is, oh, Chet Holmgren. Do you think he's going to be good? I don't want to be too skeptical, but how do you make it with legs like that? Can you see those? How does one make it in the NBA at seven foot or however tall he is? with that skinny of legs. Hopefully you can put on some weight, get healthy and have a good career, but that definitely worries me. But what I was saying is I do like the fact that you can really get a good variation of cards, different products, and you still, even though you probably won't have the insane hits, that you would, oh, that's a cool little Luca parallel. Um, you probably won't have the same insane hits that you could potentially have with retail and especially hobby. It, it, it's just a lot better use of money, personally. Um, typically, people are trying to pare down on their collections and typically they're willing to let go of things for a reasonable price and you can typically work out a pretty good deal with most people um, and there's just a whole lot more value there um, and then on top of that especially with people that don't like to get things graded you can typically find a couple of cards that you could probably send off to PSA or um, SGC and get graded I don't love getting a ton of stuff graded but there are a lot of cards that are definitely worth getting graded before selling. All right. There's a bunch of parallels and a bunch of rookie cards in here, but nothing too crazy. Um, I do want to get y'all's help. If you do find anything, Please let me know that I may have glossed over or something. Um, that would be very, very helpful. Nice. 65. Is that a variation, I'm assuming? Maybe a picture variation there. I'm not positive on that, though. JP Sears. Who is that? I'm not exactly sure who that is. Where's Porva? wrap that wildcard gets and the other sub card brands they actually have some pretty sweet products out there that I actually really like not necessarily that but 
I feel like they do kind of get a hard time just because they are so cheap. Pretty cool gamma rays. Never heard of that person, but maybe he's decent. Have to look that one up after. George Pickens. That guy and Kenny Pickett are going to be a problem for the league moving forward. Oh, the GOAT. He is the man. Actually, don't have this one. He's one of my PCs, so set that one aside. He's easily my favorite baseball player of all time. He is an absolute beast. Spencer Strider. Awesome young arm. Brandon Marsh, he can he can mash. Um, let's see here. Oh, Alperin ended up having a really good season this year. Austin Reeves, he's a young up-and-comer. I think he could be a problem for the league moving forward, especially if he really gets accustomed to playing alongside of LeBron and Anthony Davis. Um, who knows how many more years LeBron has, obviously, but the way he's been playing, I think, I genuinely don't think he has any any real slowdown in his game, so we'll see. This is a pretty sweet MVP meets rookie card, blue parallel, royal blue parallel with Bryce Harper and uh, Wander Franco. Clayton Kershaw. All right, just a few more in here. Oh, that's a cool All Pro Kings number to 100 TJ Watt. I'm assuming this isn't going to be game worn. Wow, that is crazy. How? How have we let them get away with, with that? That should be borderline criminal. You get these relic cards, you get these patch cards, and they have nothing to do with anything. It's crazy. Ooh, Miggy. Cabrera. Nice little all-star card. Austin Nola. It's a nice little card. Nice. Kirby Parallel. Kelly Olynyk, The Clinic. Oh, Jimmy Butler. He is something else. Maybe one of the more fun players to root for in the NBA. Cool little Emma Smith. All right. I gotta speed up. I didn't realize how long this video had been going. We'll speed through these real quick. Oh, nice little Draymond backstage parallel. Josh Hart. Oh, Kaminga. Couple Kaminga silvers. Herbert Jones. Green. I think he's actually a pretty good little player. I think he may be in the range of maybe a six man of the year or something like that. But I think he's a decent little player. Oh, Kenneth Walker, the rookies. It's a nice card. He also was maybe the best pickup in fantasy I had all year. All right. Last little handful. Dorte, McBride, Jaden Springer, Joe Wisecamp, Corey Kluber, Parallel. All right. Oh, another Jimmy. T minus. It's a nice little card. Nothing there, nothing there. Who is that? Huh. Press proof rookie, though. Not bad. Rashad White also helped me get second place in my fantasy league. He was a great pickup, unfortunately. Just didn't play well in championship. Barry Sanders. Press proof. Isaiah Spiller. Another little T.J. Watt. Um, Dalton Schultz. Najee. Bo Jackson. He's an absolute beast. Ooh. Trey Hendrickson. No name. Nice card. That may be worth a couple dollars. Ooh, Mike Vick. Beast. All right. That's it on that box. All right. Now... Here's what we've been waiting for. Let's see if this is legit. Hopefully it is. I'm going to be fairly careful working through this because it did look like 
If it is real, it did look like it was a refractor, which concerns me even more that it's not a real Kobe. Um, but we'll see. Nice little Nolan Ryan. It's at 1985. McGuire. Rookie. Well, I guess that's the rookie sluggers. I guess that's after his rookie season. Mm, not a whole lot there. Not much. All right. This box. I'm not going to lie. Not a big deal if... There's not a whole lot else in there, as long as that Kobe's in here. Um, that'll more than pay for this box, but I did put a lo lot on that one card in particular. Thought it would be a fun first video to go through with you all, um, but we'll see. Festus Azili, Green, Prism. All right, here's nice Daz. Newsome Auto. Playoff um, parallel, not bad. Mac Jones rookie, too bad he kind of stinks. And so that would have been worth a little bit more at the beginning of this year. Oh, cool little Rob Gronkowski heritage, Christian Kirk rookie, Michael Crabtree rookie. Oh, nice. Joseph Randall, number to 99, rook, Bowman rookie, Jalen Waddle rookie, Wave. Vic Beasley, finest rookie. All right. It is definitely starting to pick up. That is for sure. Let's see here. Ooh, Patrick Sertan, playoff plus rookie. Um, Trey Lance, rookie. Alshon, rookie. Okay, nice. Another not bad little sleeve of cards. We've got a Kyle Trask, prestige, extra points. Um, rookie card, pr the pre-rookie card, Justin Fields, couple rookie cards there. I always forget Justin Fields was with the Georgia Bulldogs before he went to Ohio State. Spellbound, Joe Montana. Those cards can be worth something. I don't know about in the pink, though. I know the gold ones can be. Fairly valuable. Oh, nice. Who is that? Bang. Oh, nice. Jalen Hurts, bang. Mosaic, green parallel. It's a nice little card. Kurt Warner, he's a beast. Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons may be one of the best edge rushers whenever it's all said and done of all time. That guy can play. Russell Wilson, man of the year parallel. Sorry if y'all haven't been seeing these perfectly well. Huh. That's special edition Dan Marino I've never seen before. That was kind of in my heyday of collecting, too. Interesting. That may not be worth anything, but never seen that. And I've seen most of Dan Marino's cards before, I feel like. Yeah, I've seen this special edition one. I just hadn't seen that, that other one. I'm gonna chain. We got blinds in the back. Hopefully, this can help y'all see a little better. There we go. Sorry about that glare on this first view. Nice. I guess that's that's Aikman's. Yeah, second year. Yeah, second year Dion too. All right, we are getting. Kind of close to the end here. We do need this to, to show up at some point soon. Um, Bowman. Barry Sanders. Pretty cool card. Okay. These are some pretty cool cards here. Steve Young, same. Um, and then Measures of Greatness. Marcus Allen, that's a pretty cool card. We got the two different parallels for StarQuest Aikman's.
Decade Draft, Drew Bledsoe. That's a pretty cool card. I will say there's a lot of cool cards in here. I just really, there, there's so many different types of cards. There's a lot of cards that are kind of just a little bit unique that I don't know what they're exactly worth. Kind of like this Aikman right here. I don't think that's worth anything, but honestly, I don't know. It could be. Um, same with this Jamal Anderson um, Upper Deck Choice. That one could be. That's the parallel um, number to 100. That one may be worth something too. I just genuinely don't know on those. I will check all of it and we'll, we'll do a little wrap up on the video after a while. There's a Drew Bledsoe medal. That's a pretty cool card there. Nice. I don't know, not, not much on that one. Okay, a couple, couple autos there. Rashawn Gary and Tristan Hill. Mixed in with the Rex Grossman rookie. Top's finest, Cordell uh, Stewart and Jerome Bettis. Nice Calvin Johnson Spectrum. Aaron Foster, All-Pro. X-Fractor Chrome. Ooh, cool. Camo Frank Gore. Handful more autos. Oh, nice. Marshawn Lattimore auto. Devo Samuel, Instant Impact. That's not a bad card. And John Lynch Blitz. Patch, are these real? Okay. Nice. Both of these are player worn. Not game worn, but at least they are player worn. It's better than nothing. Oh, cool. Jerry Rice, Spellbound. Derek Carr, numbered card. Not bad. All right, gang. We've only got a handful left. And it is not shown up yet. Not saying it won't, but I am, I'm not super worried yet. But if we flip through a few more of these, I may get worried. That's cool, Eddie Georgian. Impact players. That's a nice card. Jordan Howard Illumination. Silver. Justin Jackson, Phoenix, rookie, but not a whole lot else on that one. Pat Mahomes, X's and O's, nice. Dwayne Allen, X-Fractor rookie. Nice, Justin Jefferson, star status, elite, that's a sweet card. Eddie George, Fleer Tradition, and we got Nick Chubb as well. All right. Here's where it's going to be. If it is. All right. Here's where it's going to be. If it's in here, obviously, this is all we've got left is, I don't know, maybe 25 sheets left. But we have reached the basketball section of the binder sheets. All right. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna cry if it's not in here, but it would be very sad if this guy did not tell me the truth on this. But, oh, oh, no, never mind. False alarm. I, I'm thinking he, he seemed like a pretty honest guy in boys, women, men. I just saw something. Is it real? Look like a refractor. No way. This is like, this is the difference. If it's a refractor, if this is a refractor, gold, airs, finest, Kobe Bryant rookie, I don't even know what it goes for. I don't even know if I'm going to sell it. 
I may have to just PC it. It is a sick card. I've wanted it for a long time. Didn't want to spend the money on it, but we're talking like potentially on, depending on the condition and everything, which he did mention that there was a small ding on the card. So it wouldn't grade a perfect gem mint 10, but even if it graded like an eight or even a seven, we're talking two to maybe $4,000, $5,000. All right, no one cares about what was on this one. We're all waiting. Is this real? There it is. Bruh. I do not believe that is a real card at all. Boy, I got duped. That couldn't be a faker card. That's sad. Welp. What are you going to do? Huh. Well, egg on my face. <laughs> I mean, this is fake, clearly. That's sad. I should have known better. Typically I do. I wanted something cool to open for y'all on the first video. Thought this could be it. <laughs> what are you going to do? It is what it is. We're going to look through the rest of the cards, but that's a bummer. That is a bummer. I got to look through the pictures again to see because honestly, I think it got swapped out. There, This clearly would not shimmer on a picture. The other one had shimmer that he had sent me. So, big bummer there. Honestly though, that is why I never buy cards on Facebook Marketplace that aren't local. I don't get them shipped because it's really hard to trust someone um, in this context because you really, you're, you're dealing with people that are trying to take advantage, especially for people that are not in the area and, and ship them um, outside of their area. So they won't have contact with them. They won't be able to see it, all of that. So obvious red flags there. I get it. Roast me in the comment section. Totally fine, totally legit. But that is something to be aware of. It's one of those things, especially on somewhere like Facebook Marketplace, you can get ripped ripped on. Not saying I love eBay. eBay has its flaws. Not saying Hybid ha has its flaws as well. Places like that. But at least you do have some buyer protection in those other areas. It's a pretty good, cool Kevin Garnett medal. Not bad. Boy, I was really hoping we had something there, but clearly that wasn't it. I will say, outside of that, I would not have spent anywhere close to $225 on it so far. We do have a handful of cards left. Maybe something good will be there. There's a Topps Gold, is that Pedro Rookie? Yeah, it's not a bad Topps Gold Pedro Rookie there. <laughs> Definitely not gonna be making up my money there, but still a cool card nonetheless. That is actually one that I, I'm gonna look over it a little more after we get done shooting this, but that is one that I might would send off. Those are cool. Topps Gold Prospects, Jason Giambi there as well. Um, but yeah, that th this isn't one that I would spend 225 on. I'd probably, after seeing everything, I'd probably would have spent 100, maybe, maybe 100 on this. There's just a lot of 
unknowns here that I don't really know the price on. And I honestly don't think there's going to be a whole lot that is going to be resellable to, to get me back to that mark. But in either case, we will live to fight another day in the reselling world. And this one, since I didn't spend too, too much on it, it won't eat me up too bad. But you just don't want to make too many decisions like this, as everyone is well aware. A little chipper, Topps Prospect. Not bad. We're going to have the Jeter as well. A nope. couple more chippers. Pedro and Ramon. They're brothers, right? They're not cousins. Yeah, uh, I'm not positive actually. I think I think they're they're brothers. I should know that. All right, we're getting close to wrapping it up. All right, give me something to to end on. Oh, we do have some cards that maybe can help. Make it up down here towards the end. Right here. The upper deck, nothing but net series. These typically go for decent money online. It's a McDonald's series, and it looks like he's got, yeah, it looks like you got a full set here. Nice. Perfect. That should be decent money there. We're not making all our money back on that, but still. Not a bad thing to see. I've got some other videos coming up that I'll show you more my strategy on and what I typically do. Um, and what I'm typically looking for so y'all can learn and see what it's what I'm looking for in a good deal, and not only what I'm, I'm seeing on a good deal, but primarily um, the items that not only sell well, but sell quickly, um, which obviously that is a big thing in the reselling market. Matt McClung, 2023 slam dunk champ. Ooh, KD, green parallel, maybe one of the best shooters in college history. JJ Reddick. Not a whole lot there, and it looks like not a whole lot to wrap up with. Just a few Ken Griffey's. And actually, that, those cards can actually bring a little bit back with that. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you liked in this video that you would like to purchase from me. Please let me know because um, we can work out a good deal. Um, I can get it to you rather cheaply. But let's be honest, this video was about this card. And boy, I was mistaken. What a sad, sad, sad thing pulling this out. I mean, it is... What am I doing? How did I think that was real? Like the video for me spending this money on this card that is so fake. All right, so before I went and ate dinner tonight, I went ahead and sent him this message letting him know how, it, how fake it was and how just dishonest he was overall, that I wouldn't have spent my money there. And honestly, I thought that was basically just where it was gonna be left because Honestly, with someone like this who is just so blatantly lying and misleading, they typically just try to cut off all communication whatsoever. But then he comes back after dinner. I see this message pop up. I mean, come on. How infuriating is that message back after he specifically said that it was real? And there was other things about the lot that he had lied about as well, like quantity and how many cards should have been in there. He was off only by about... 10,000 sports cards, so no big deal. Moral of the story is don't be a dummy like me and just trust people at their word and what pictures they send. Do not have things shipped from places like Facebook Marketplace, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe and like this video. We'll see you next time. Later.